Elijah so much. My God. Thank God, Lord. Y'all just don't know what God has did for me and how he delivered me. I ain't gonna spoke to my heart for this man. Yes. yes. Oh, Lord, I think that's yes. what yes. I have a right to praise him. Thank you, I have a right to praise him. I have a right to praise him. I have a right to praise him. Everything that within me. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. How he answered my prayers. <laughs> how he kept us in keeping our children. Yes. yes. Oh, Lord, I thank you for the Bible passing and Christ. I love my Lord, that somebody will stand and show forth God Christ. Thank you. Not yes. that go preach, but live it. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why I praise him like I praise him. Hallelujah. Because he's worthy of all praise. Yes. Hallelujah. That's why we have a right thing. Yes. yes. We have a right because he is God. Yes. yes. He's God all by himself. Yes. Already. Oh, I can say much more when we get somebody else to change. Come on, come on. Give God praise. Come on, testify. Y'all know God is good to us. Come on, he'll open our eyes and show us who we are. Come on, we got it right.
I'm going to take you and I'm going to dress you. See, when you were stripped, I'm putting my clothes back on you. Come on. Yes, Lord God. And you're beautiful to me. You are my precious yes. Thank God. You are a woman of God. Mm-hmm. And don't let the world tell you no other difference. All right. All right. You don't need nobody but me. Grace happens. See, a thing happened to me, and this is where my brother Andrew came up and he was talking about being no matter what you're going through. I tumble every week, every day, I tumble. But it don't matter. Because nothing in this world got more power than God. Yes, He's able to do what the world can't do. So mm-hmm. the world fool me. Because like it fooled me. And God brought me out of that fool. <laughs> and I can go on and on and on and on and on. I take over the service right now because God is ever living and ever lasting. Oh, and he has a world yeah. without us. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
day, but I don't know which way to go. But I'm going to just take off. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. I tell you what, you just never know what's going to happen in here. <laughs> you don't go to church as usual. You may be coming here and we think things are going to go as normal and usual. Uh -huh. God got a surprise for us. Amen. He visit us this morning. Hallelujah. I was on my knees saying, God, visit us. Just show everybody you're here with us. Yes, Lord. My God, my God, praise Him a little bit. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your Spirit. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you that we're your people. God, guide us through these dark days. Guide us through the rest of this pandemic. Guide us through everything that's coming up on the earth. And prepare us, Father. Help us to be strong and courageous. Father God, I pray as we approach the word now, help us, Lord, to prepare our hearts for what thus said the Lord. And bless this people. And let them know these are not the emotions. These are, this is the Holy Ghost. Yes, stir the emotion. Yes, and God, you didn't come here just to move, to stir us, to not prove to us what you're about to do. Yes. He's about to do something great. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And I hear the Lord saying, man of God, you didn't choose you, I chose you. And you know this, said the Lord, and I'm not finished. There's much in store, and I am going to compound those who are wise, but I will compound you with the things that I'm going to say to you and do to you and do with you, said the Lord. Stand strong and know that I, the Lord thy God, was with you, even from a child, as you know, and I'm going to be with you. Outreach if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. This might be just for us. Correct. Luke chapter 1, uh, I'm sorry, Luke chapter 11, verse 1, <clears throat> and Matthew's chapter 6, verse 9 and 10 is going to be my text. Starting in Luke uh, 11, chapter, uh, verse 1 says, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. As John taught his disciples. Isn't that amazing? You can yeah. pray and the power of God come down so strong and make people say, teach me how to pray like that. Yeah. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. <clears throat> and after this manner, therefore pray ye. Okay. They asked him, Lord, teach us to pray. So now he's getting ready to show them how to pray as he's showing us through this message. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, mm -hmm. our Father, yes. which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Mm -hmm. There ain't no such thing as prayer without understanding how it is. Mm -hmm. And that he's a holy God. Then it says in verse 10, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in the earth as in heaven. Amen. Now, my subject is going to be thy kingdom come. Mm -hmm. Thy kingdom come. And for a subtopic, thy, the kingdom that 
has come and the kingdom that's coming. Come on now, come on. Okay, I'm going to start again. Subject, thy kingdom come. Amen. In this particular time that we're living in now, this ought to be your prayer, your main prayer. Yep. Thy kingdom come. I got enough of man's kingdom. Yeah. Right. Come on now, come on. I got enough of church kingdom. Come on now. I got enough of my kingdom and my will. Come on. Thy kingdom come. Yes. Please. Yes, Lord. That should be your prayer, your desire, your heart. That's it. That's and see, God. when you really pray this from your heart, it empty you of your own ambition. Yes. That's right. It sure do. Come on, apostle. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thy kingdom come. As a subtopic again, the kingdom that has come and the kingdom that's coming. Mm -hmm. So when you pray thy kingdom come, I want you to think about both of these terms because I'm going to try to uh, elaborate on them a little bit. All right? Now, introduction. If you look at Matthew, you don't have to go to all of these. You can write it down if you want to because I'm going to skip through these. Matthew chapter 11 verse 13 says, and all the prophets uh, prophesy until John. Let me back up again. Get that right. For all the prophets and the law prophesy until John. All the prophets and the law. Everything in the Old Testament, what we call the Old Testament, from Genesis all the way up to Malachi, everything uh, prophesied until John. What happened that there was a shift with John because John came preaching the kingdom. Mm. Okay. There's a lot of things in the Bible, but so many people have focused on all those things in the Bible and lost sight on the kingdom. Right. My God, that's good, that's good. So, so here it is, Jesus praying, and it's something about his prayer caught these, people, these disciples' attention. They're like, oh, teach me to pray. No. Apparently, I'm praying wrong. <laughs> Come on. And he said, now when you pray, pray, thy kingdom come. Pray for the kingdom. Thy will be done. Mm -hmm. Saints, let me tell y'all something. That prayer empty you of you. Yeah. That's mm. right. So when you pray, you praying about what God is concerned about. That's it. And then the more you pray about what God's concerned about, the more you stop being so concerned about what's going on with you. <laughs> and a lot of times, God let what's going on with you bother you enough to get you out of you. Come on now. Come on up. And so that's why things bother us so much, because God said, I'm going to put you right here and let this tumbleweed stay on you till you get out of you. That's it. Oh, yeah. Get yes, somebody when you pray the kingdom, uh -huh. it empty you of your kingdom. Oh, that's, that's it. That's good. That's good. That is well. <laughs> so all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. Mm -hmm. Now, let me go to verse 12. It says, and from the days of John the Baptist, all the prophets. Think there was something unique about John. Because all of them prophesied until John. But when John came on the scene, it was a shift. Yeah, yeah. And it said, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, mm. that go right into 2021. <laughs> this on, same now. shift that John experienced is right now today. That's it. Help me, Lord. Come on. You're doing good. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven, uh, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Mm. And the violence taken by force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to always look at that scripture. Now, what does that mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not professing I know everything, but I'm going to just give you what I, I believe the Holy Ghost gave me. Why is it that all the prophets and, and everybody prophesied until John, but when John came, it says from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered the violence. Because John came bringing a revelation of the kingdom of God. Amen. Come on. Yeah. And now the devil like, I don't want them to know about this. <laughs> no, because if they get a hold to this, they're going to they gonna realize it ain't about you. <laughs> it ain't about nothing else but God. Yeah. So therefore, I, the devil got, I got a lunch and a soul. Yeah. That's 
on people to keep them from getting this. Come on. Come on. But those of us who got it and understand it, even though he launched his violent attack, it just made me take the kingdom back. Because from the days of John the Baptist, everybody started realizing there's a kingdom that I can get it. I can get out of this situation. You mean I can get out of this mindset? You mean I ain't got to think like that? And so when they caught it, they, 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 the kingdom of heaven suffered a violent intro. Yes. People violently ran to the kingdom. Yes, it. No matter it. what Satan did. No matter what he said. No matter what he's doing. So you can't stop me with what you're doing on my job. You can't stop me with what you're making me feel. You can't stop me from the attacks. I'm pressing into the kingdom. I pray I come down, I hope. Because I, I want to teach this. Help me, Lord. So he said, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violent. It was a violent attack upon the enemy from the enemy to cloud you from this. Right, right. But when you got a taste, a foretaste of it. It didn't matter what Satan was doing. I'm going to violently take the camera. Come on now. You're going to press me. I'm going after the camera. You're going to press me. Church ain't going to stop me. Come on. Man, I've been in this thing on 41 years. If anybody could have been stopped, it should have been me. Come on now. Amen. But ain't nothing stopping me. People can't stop me. Church can't stop me. Money can't stop me. Attacks can't stop me. Nothing gonna stop me because I've laid hold to the kingdom by force. That's it. My and I ain't gonna let go. Nope. Some people let go too quick. Yes. 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 Lord, he Satan can whoop you so bad, you say, Look, Satan, I give up. I, what you want? Uh uh, not me. All right. I ain't getting on no this side. Yes. Hallelujah. But well, let me keep going. Wow. Matthew 4 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogue and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Now watch this. Watch this. John came preaching the kingdom. Jesus came preaching the kingdom. I wonder what the church been preaching. Come on now. Have we got so caught up on the blessings he promised that we lost sight on the kingdom? Right, come on now, talk about it. There was a time in the church they got caught up on prosperity. Uh-huh. And lost the kingdom. Mm-hmm. Lost the zeal for the kingdom. Now, John came, now keep in mind now, all those prophets, all of them, the law, the prophets, everything prophesied till John. When John came, a shift. The, everything shifted to the kingdom. Mm-hmm. Nothing else mattered now, the kingdom. Because right. there came an understanding of the kingdom. So John came preaching the kingdom. Jesus came preaching the kingdom. Let me show you a couple more. Acts 8 verse 12. But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God. John came preaching the kingdom. Jesus came preaching the kingdom. Philip came preaching the kingdom. Let me go to one more. Acts 20. Verse 25, it says, and now, this is Paul, and now behold, I know that ye all among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God shall see my face no more. So, John came preaching the kingdom. Jesus came preaching the kingdom. Philip came preaching the kingdom. Paul came preaching the kingdom. All the apostles preach the kingdom. I think we need to get back to preaching the kingdom. Because we have lost sight of the kingdom. And this is why distractions mess with people so much. Uh This is why so many people, they focus on what they're going through. Why? Because that's a strategy to keep your mind off the kingdom. That's a strategy of the devil. Yes, it is. So every time the devil gets a message with you, I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, I see why you're messing with me. Because I know I've got my sights on the kingdom of God. 
Yeah. All right. Let me go a little further. Help me. I ain't going to be long. How long I've been going? Take long as you want. Yeah, I hear you, but I don't want David to slip me a little note. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> <that's laughs> <that's true. laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. All right. All right. Let me go a little step further now. I just want to show you everything shifted when John came on the scene. What it shifted to? The kingdom. So if the reason the church is weak, the reason the church people are weak is because they have shifted from the kingdom to this kingdom. Wow. All right. Like this is it. But yeah, what this, whatever happens here in this kingdom we now living in controls the saints. That was a strategy of the devil. Yes, it is. And he still, until now, he's still doing it. Whatever happens in this world, as long as I can keep your attention on this world, you won't be a, you won't be a, a focusing on the kingdom. Because when you focus on the kingdom, it empties you. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord. Thy will be done. Yes. Not my will, God. This ain't about me. But if Satan can keep you, oh, me, 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 me. What happened to me, 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 me? If he can keep you there, he got you. That's why he launched a violent assault on the kingdom. But you got to be violent enough to grab the kingdom and hold on. Come on now. My God. Two things. Watch this. I want to show you two manifestations of the kingdom. Two manifestations. They came preaching the kingdom, but they explained it. It wasn't that they just took a text and a subject and preached the kingdom. No, they laid out the principles. They laid out all the details. And this is what got people excited that they were willing, don't cut my head off. I will not deny him. Okay. This is what made them disciples do that. Because they caught hold on what the kingdom was about. What this all about. So let me show you two manifestations of the kingdom. Luke 17 verse 20. Watch what it says. And when he was demanded, watch this, demanded. Mm -hmm. See, what has happened is the Pharisees knew the law. They thought they knew the prophets. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, the law and the prophets was prophesied until John. And then John came on the scene. There was a shift. It lost them. They, it lost the religious leaders. They couldn't figure out what Jesus was doing. They couldn't figure out what turn the church was taking. All the people of God was taken. So now they're going to de now, now they demand that Jesus explain the kingdom to them. Now here's why they wanted to know. Because they wanted to de uh, 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 derail the kingdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, right. They wanted to derail it. Because see, now they in power. Right. These Pharisees, and some of them was, was uh, full of uh, Esau. Mm. Amen. Some of them was Jews, claiming they're Jews and was not. Right. And they was ruling over God's Heritage, the chosen one, black people. Thank you. African American people. That's who that was over there that, that, that went to walking in Jesus' name. But these Pharisees and these Herodians was in power. Just like the people that's in power now, they want to stay in power. They try to, why do you think they're going to the moon, making all these trips up there? They trying to figure out how to get out of God's judgment and still survive and stay in power. Same thing happening today. Right, right. So the Pharisees demanded, tell us about this kingdom. You were around teaching everybody this, John <laughs> teaching it, Philip teaching it. We demand that you explain this to us. Why? Because they, they want to derail it. That's right. So he said, well, now watch how smart God is. So he said, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when, when the kingdom of God gonna come, should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God come without observation. <laughs> <laughs> he messed them up. And they're like, what? No, I'm trying to figure out how you going to set this up. How you going to do this? Jesus said the kingdom of God will come without observation. Now, I'm going to show you something in a few minutes. Come on that. out, Apostle. <laughs> show it. Because I want to show you two manifestations of the kingdom. All right. Acts chapter 1, starting at verse 6. And keep in mind, Jesus now getting ready to ascend. He done walked with his disciples 40 days after he'd been resurrected from the dead. Showing them miracles, ate with them, and showed them that I'm the same one y'all saw die on that tree. I'm the one. I ain't no fake. I ain't no ghost. Touch me. Handle me. All right. 
Okay. And then on. after he done walked with them 40 days and assured them that I'm the same Christ and walk with y'all before the before the tree and after the tree. Come on. Now he's going up. He's getting ready to go up. And something is on these people's mind. What was on their mind? Yeah. It will you at this time? Uh, let, let me just read it so I don't mess it up. Uh, Acts 1 verse 6. When they therefore was come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? Mm -hmm. See, what had happened is John, John came telling Israel that, yeah, y'all y'all under bondage now. You're under Roman rule. Yeah. But Christ is coming to take y'all out of from, out from under Roman rule. He's coming to take y'all out of this oppression. He's coming to take you out of this American system that, yeah. per, that, 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 that persecute you, hate you, and make laws for everybody but you. He's coming to get you out of this. Right. And so, just like the Pharisees wanted to know how is God going to do this, people in our day want to know the same thing. Yeah. How in the world these black people going to rule again? Uh -huh. How are they going to come out of this situation? No, we got to keep them down. We don't want them educated. Come on. <laughs> so he said, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? Why did they ask that? Because John came preaching and explaining it. Jesus came preaching it and explaining it. Philip came preaching and explaining it. Paul came. The apostles came preaching it and explaining it. So they had a hope for the kingdom. Yeah. But here Christ is getting ready to leave. And they're like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> what you, what you Everything has shifted since John. <laughs> you've been telling us about a kingdom. Now you're leaving. Well, come on I want y'all to get the picture. Also, bring it up. Bring it up. But what they didn't know is God had a curveball to throw on the devil. He said, I don't want the devil to know how I'm going to do this. Let me go on a little further. And he said, verse 7, and he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times and the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. I believe, I believe that he could assault the Father and gave him further instruction to comfort him before he left. But he chose not to do it. Why? Because it was demanded of the Pharisees. You tell me how this is going to work. Why? Because they want to stop it. Yeah, right. people right now want to stop us, baby. Too many of us are waking up. Too many black people are waking up. Now, they still got something that haven't woke up yet. But it's too many. This ain't no little old bitty thing right here. They see them, y'all. This thing is worldwide. Too many of them waking up now realizing they are the chosen people. And so the devil want to stop this thing. And so, so here it is. Jesus said it's not for you to know. I, I can't tell you about this right now. Why? Because I don't want the devil to know my plan. Mm -hmm. I don't want the people who are in power, who are serving the devil to know my plan. Right. God got a plan. So it says, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know. Hallelujah, I need a mic. I think my battery is going to up. Glory to God. Give me two, two batteries, maybe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stay tuned for advertising. <laughs> Energize. Energize. Come on. Awesome. I'm not selling these energizing batteries. I'm selling the energizing power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You can throw them away. So I warn them to again. Okay, let me finish this. I'm just about done, believe it or not. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the season which the Father has put in his own power. But, somebody said, but, but. you shall receive power. Yeah. Yes, Lord. After the Holy After. Ghost. Some of the Hebrews call it in nine, the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. That was the Holy Spirit took resident here this morning. Because y'all know y'all done sang that song many times, and it was good, but it was never this good. Come on now, that was the Spirit. That was the power. That was the kingdom. 
and showed up. Yeah. Help me, God. I'm trying to work all this out. You shall receive power. A power that will sustain you when you're under attack. Yeah. A power that when they lynch you, you'll still call, call out to God. You're going to receive a power to go through 400 years of oppression and still come out loving people. This is the first manifestation of the kingdom. And unfortunately, a lot of people in churches and denominations haven't received the first phase of the kingdom. And thinking and waiting on the kingdom. Not us here. It's evident we receive something. Young people, this wasn't just grown up emotions this morning. You, this was a Holy Ghost, an invisible power yeah. that came in and touched the sun yeah. and moved in the place. Yes, oh, it's the same power that will sustain you when yes. you're under peer pressure. Yes. Right, right. Amen. Hallelujah. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And you know how that they, these people received this power and they start preaching. They had to threaten them to stop preaching in the name. And, Jesus, and that same timid Peter stood up and said, you, uh, you, you judge whether it's better to obey you or God. Stood and looked them in the face. I believe he pointed his finger in the face. <laughs> this power, the kingdom, the first manifestation, Come without observation. Right. It's an invisible power that'll enter you on submission and say yes to God. Yes. 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 And it'll sustain you yes. uh -huh. through you. pandemics. Yes. yes. Amen. Through tough times. Yes. How in the world I last 41 years. Uh -oh. And this I ain't special. I last because March the 4th, something yeah. entered into me. Yeah. And it was that thing John then was preaching about. Yeah. Oh, Hallelujah. Okay, let me break it down. All right. The kingdom that has come and the kingdom that is coming. In Luke 17, 20 again, it says, And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God coming, not with observation. And then uh, in Luke 17, verse 21, it says, neither shall they say, lo, here, or lo, there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So what was Jesus doing? What was God doing? He said, yeah, I'm coming to set up a kingdom with these very people y'all hate. Come on, come These on. very people that y'all got in bondage, and they ain't getting ready to get out. Because he told the apostles, he said, no, y'all going to go into captivity, and, and, and you're going to be led captive. Listen, go read your Bible now. You're going to be led captive into all nations. That's it. Okay, historians, uh, theologians, come on. go find you on this planet an uh, ethnic group of people that went into slavery on ships all over the world and their descendants is still in the same lands they went to. That's right. Don't show me the people. And I guarantee it's not them people in the Middle East. They never went into slavery. That's right. Come on, God. Never. And y'all had us fooled for years uh -huh. that they were the people. That's right. We're the people. We're the descendants. That went into slavery. And, God, and Jesus said, no, y'all not getting ready to come out now. I'm not going to set, set the kingdom up now. I'm going to throw a curveball. I'm going to send y'all a power. Jesus, that it. endures suffering. Come on. We have been doing all kinds of stuff and still here. They shot us up with syphilis and we still here. Uh -huh. They created abortion for us and we still here. Jesus. Jesus. Why? Because that was an invisible power of the kingdom. That came to us. And that's the only reason we still here today. Glory. Judy, that's the only reason you and I still here today. Yeah. Yes, Hallelujah. If you don't believe me, believe me for my work's sake. Just watch. I ain't failed. There's some I'm still waiting on me to fall. Well, I wonder if SCM going to make it. SCM still here, and we ain't never wanted for nothing. Have we, Elder? Come on now. With this small group of people, good God Almighty. 
Can y'all see what me and Elder see? Yes, Lord. Glory to the Father. You can't stop the kingdom. Yes, no. Can't stop it. And if you fight against it, you'll find yourself fighting against God. Yes, that's right. Come on, Tom. Talk it. Jesus. Hallelujah. So he said, for the kingdom of God, watch this. He said, he said, neither shall they say lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Mm. And he, he, now he, I believe he pulled the apostles aside and explained this to him. And he explained this to these Pharisees. Tell us how this going to happen. And he ain't told them nothing. And then he sent an invisible power right around their eyes, put it in them. And these same guys who they used to threaten, now rising up now in the power of God moving through them. So as a kingdom, the first manifestation of the kingdom Lord. is this invisible power that we call the Holy Ghost that comes and nobody can see it. Nobody can see it. Nope. Y'all came to the altar. Whether you know it or not, there was an invisible power got in you to help you do something the next time you go through it. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody believe that? Yeah. I believe to him that believe all things are possible. Yeah. If you doubt, you'll be without us. My oh, come on now. He came in here and stirred us up. But when you came down, he leaped in you. Yeah. By faith. Yeah. And you will find yourself the next time you go through that same test. Glory to God. Something to come over me. Yeah. Glory to God. I ain't, This thing don't bother me no more. Yeah. Yeah. And you ain't got that power. Come on back to the altar. Hey. Hey. I keep coming till I get it. Hey. Come on now. Yeah. 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 So. My subject, <laughs> thy kingdom come. Subtopic, the kingdom that has come and the kingdom that is coming. Now let me touch on, well, well let me say this first. The kingdom that has come already with invisible power that snuck around the powers that be and snuck, stuck inside of us, got inside of us, you can explain it like this, Romans 14, 12, um, 14, 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. Yeah, yeah. Come on, that's it, that's it. Why you why you think he said meat and drink? Because that's what humans, especially Gentiles, are more concerned about. Yeah. The Gentiles, the Bible said that uh, seek first the kingdom. I'm gonna close with that. For after all these things, the Gentiles seek. Yeah. They seek to make a living. Mm -hmm. They seek what they can eat, eat healthy, ride healthy, live healthy. Uh, they seek the things that help them do well in this kingdom. Come on. Now he's not saying don't ride well or don't live well or don't don't right. feed your family. He's not saying that. Right. He's saying that shouldn't be your motivation. Right. That's it. That shouldn't be your driving force like yeah. the Gentiles. Yeah. Yeah. Because the kingdom of God Hallelujah. is not about natural things, yes. food and drink, survival, Hallelujah. how we're going to live. That's not the kingdom. When if that's got your focus, you don't have hope to the kingdom. Amen. That's, that's, right. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's right. The kingdom haven't uh, experienced your violent touch yet. Yeah. Right. I don't have hope to the kingdom, baby. Come on. Glory to God. I ain't letting go. I hope I ain't messed that up. Oh, <laughs> I ain't letting go. Can't let go. I ain't letting go even when I take my last breath. Right. I'm Taking my last breath said, Nisha, I made it. Hey. Hey, I'm it for you. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. How many of y'all going to be able to say your last breath? I made it. Yes, Lord. I made it. And the Bible said that's going to be a carpet spread out for you in your entry into heaven. Yeah. Into the kingdom of God. Come on in. Let me close, Lord. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. Come on. It's not about natural things. It's not about surviving. But it's righteousness. Yes. Mm. Peace. Peace. Yes. Yeah. And joy. Yeah. Joy. In the rock connection. Yeah. In the Holy Ghost. Yeah. This is how you know you got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. That I'm going to do what's right. Yes, right. We're gone. If that's not your passion when you're under a trial yes, and Lord. in a test, then maybe you ain't got the spirit yet. Come on. Yes, but if in, if in your test 
You're like, uh-uh. Here's what the word say. I want to do his will, not my will. That's a sign. That's it. Of the spirit. Because humanly, you can't stand up against these pressures in the world and the devil and, and stand for God if the spirit ain't prompting you. That's right. That's it. All the reason some of y'all still here, all of y'all still here, is the spirit been working with you. Come on. That's right. That's right. And maybe there should be some more fasting and prayer on your own. Thank God I enjoyed that fast too. I'm telling you. Amen. Because uh, September was uh, uh, Feast of Trumpets and, and uh, Atonement. And so we didn't do it the way we did it last year. So I said, let's call a fast to thank God for atonement within our own lives and our own homes. So I'm, like, I'm a little late of the spirit. Because I done found out some of these Hebrews got dates wrong. Yeah. And I can't just follow a crowd, David. I believe in all of these feasts. But when I start seeing some of them confused, I ain't following confusion. Correct. So I need the Holy Ghost to lead me how to honor you in all these things. Right. 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 And if it ain't nothing but a fast, let's fast. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but it's righteousness. It's all about what's right. If this wrong, I ain't going to do it. I'm sorry. And if, if for some reason I slipped, I ain't been slipping. I ain't slipped since God showed me how to live holy and live without sin. And I know a bunch of folks don't think you can live like that, but come live with me. But if you slipped, just say, you know what? I ain't doing that no more. I'm going with God. That's the kingdom. That's the mindset of the kingdom. Because the kingdom is righteousness. Yes. The kingdom is peace. Why do you think saying after your peace? That's right. Why do you think he want to shake the boat, create <laughs> pressures and strife and stuff in your life? He after your peace. That's right. yeah. That's right. That's right. Right. But Jesus said, my peace I leave with you. Yeah. Not as the world, but I, I, I leave it with you because nobody can take your peace from you. So don't let go of your peace. I'm going to stay at peace. Y'all yeah, right. want to act a fool, act a fool. I ain't acting a fool with you. Come on, huh? That's right, have it. I'm going to keep my peace. Yeah, peace. Kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. Yeah, that's it. Keep your joy. Yes, yes. Lord. When you ever stop losing your joy of coming in, David said, I was glad when they said unto me, yeah. let us go in the house. Yeah, glory. Yes, Lord. If this is the house that we chose to come and all meet as a family, when you start losing that joy yeah. of oh, knocking this door, or uh, any door of the house, you have lost the kingdom. I was glad when they said it to me. Amen. And I'd rather be a doorkeeper. That's the joy. Just to be in his presence. That's the first manifestation of the kingdom. The kingdom come with not without observation. It came and hit me like a bolt of lightning in March 4, 1980. And I jumped and said, oh, something that happened to me. It was the kingdom. The power of God came. And the church ain't even know what happened to me when I came back that next Sunday. It came without observation. I was, I was serving in that church, a deacon, usher, and the choir, they made a mistake there. <laughs> Y'all missed the place in land. I was doing everything. I came up that Sunday, and I, I sat in that little chair. Is there one? Yeah, there was one this morning. I said, look, I came to this church, and I, I came out the streets. I'm a gangster. I don't want to live like that no more. I don't want to live in sin no more. I came here, and y'all done gave me titles in jobs, and I still don't know God. I need God. I came for the church and said that. Yeah. And everybody got embarrassed. I looked around. The pastor was embarrassed. Like, I ain't come to embarrass nobody. I'm just telling the truth. That's it. I come That's here it. to find God. And I've been serving, and I still don't know God. That's and so the pastor said, we're going to set a special prayer for Brother Curtis. Tuesday. <laughs> and Judy, we came. Because <laughs> he was embarrassed. He came and they prayed and they prayed and they prayed and they prayed. And it was close to midnight after I left that church. And the pastor, the pastor got frustrated. He said, what you say you believe you're saying? He, he, he yelled at me. They were all frustrated. I was reading this film. I didn't know what I was looking for. I just knew I wanted to be changed. And when he said that, I didn't know the scripture was in the Bible. What sort of thing you desire when you pray? Believe you receive them and you shall have them. But that's what he said. He said, just believe you receive. 
I don't think he knew the scripture was in there because I know I did. But when he said that, something clicked in me. Oh, I'm asking God to help me. And all I need to do is believe him. I left that church and said, God, I believe you heard me. I believe you, you're going to save me. I believe you're going to change me. And I'm coming down Calhoun Street, turning left on McGregor, and that's when that lightning hit. I call it lightning because that's the only way I can describe it. Because when it hit me, light filled my body. So I left that church that night, shortly before midnight, came back that Sunday, a brand new man. And I would get up in the church and start trying to testify. I ended up prophesying. I didn't even know what prophecy was. And the whole church was just swept in the power of God. What happened? The kingdom came in me without them observing it. It came without observation. This man that's lost came back that next Sunday to set the whole church on fire. That's the kingdom could to come. That's the one that has come. When you receive his spirit, that's the kingdom that has come. But there's one coming. The one that's coming. Help me close, Lord. Help me, Lord. Okay. Watch this. Let me read a few verses. I got about two or three more passages. You can get ready to come to the keyboard where we're coming. Amen. After Matthew 25:31. Hallelujah. Well, let me back up. Matthew uh, Matthew's 13, verse 41. <clears throat> the Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather, not rapture. Rapture not in the Bible. The Europeans taught us rapture to throw us off. It's gather. And the gathering is a specific people that he going to gather before he let anybody else in the kingdom, there's a specific group of people Christ is coming back together. That's right. That's what this Bible teach. But they hid this from us. And this group of people, the prophets said, they prophesied all the way up to John, they're going to go into slavery. They're going to go into 400 years of slavery. And it wasn't the 430 years in Egypt. That was 430 years. There was another 400 years that had to come on the same people. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to go prove that it wasn't the one uh, in Egypt because Egypt was 430. Right. God in Genesis chapter 15 specifically say there's another 400 years. How many of y'all know this nation mm -hmm. and the, U and the uh, UN and Africa, uh, nations in Africa all of them declared 2019 to be 400 years of captivity. Where else do you find a group of people that they honor a 400 year captivity? Where? Well, find it. We the people. We the people that Messiah prophesied, I'm coming back to get you from scattered all over the world through slavery. Your ancestors came to where you live through slavery, but I'm coming back to gather you. And when I gather you, I'm going to set a kingdom up. That's what John was preaching. That's what Philip was preaching. That's why them disciples was able to go through and go through all the hell they went through. That's why you ought to be able to go through when you understand the kingdom that has come and the kingdom that's coming. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That's good. It's coming, David. It's coming. That's why we stand. That's right. That's why I don't back up. That's why I ain't going to give up. Because there's a kingdom coming. Lord, teach us to pray. Lord, thy kingdom come. God, you done came, but you coming. And I know who you coming for. You ain't coming to get a bunch of wicked people to rapture them, take them to heaven, who done killed us and hated us. No, you coming to get us first. Set up your kingdom with us. Then the righteous on your right hand is invited in. The righteous on his right hand is everybody else other than us. We're the elect. When you, I, I, I taught yesterday, elect. Go search that word out. Start in the Old Testament. Every time you see elect, he's talking about us, the chosen people, Israel. He's coming back to set up a kingdom. 
And so here these disciples is Jesus getting ready to leave. He said, well, wait a minute. John teaching the kingdom. Philip teaching the kingdom. Paul teaching the kingdom. Christ teaching the kingdom. When you going to do this, Lord? And it's for you to know. Because I want the Pharisees to know my plan. I'm going to send you the power of the kingdom first. It's going to go right over the head. Beautiful plan. And then, after you finish this 400 years of suffering, I'm going to bring judgment on all the nation. Folks, that's a judgment now called Corona. Yes. And it hit right after 400 years. That ain't no coincidence. No. Millions of people done died. Just like in Egypt. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This ain't no coincidence. Nope. He said after 400 years, I'm judging these nations. And after I finish judging, then I'm coming back to bring y'all out. The gathering is pretty soon, y'all. I don't know how it went, but these judgments is for a reason. So this was the hope of these disciples. There's a king. The kingdom has come and it's got us enduring. And he told us, now if you endure to the end, you're going to be saved and go into the literal kingdom. Hallelujah. So they knew this thing was coming. And that's what kept them steadfast. Hallelujah. Do you know it's coming? Hallelujah. Do you all believe? Yes. Yes. Let's pray so our Father, yes. thank you for the kingdom. Thank you, Father. God, we understand you. who you're going to build the kingdom with. Thank you, the very despised peoples that's hated, that's been mistreated, that were scattered on slave ships. God, we didn't know we were the people, but now we know. And God, I thank you. You're coming back to get us out of this mess. And God, you're coming back to stop all the black on black crime. You're coming back to stop all the husbands leaving their homes and having single parents. You coming back to put us back where we once was. Yes, and God, we're going to help you rule in your kingdom. Yes, we're going to help you rule the nations. Yes, you, Thy kingdom come. Yes. And when you get this perspective that the kingdom has come and the kingdom, the literal kingdom is coming and that's your main prayer and focus, nothing stops you. All right. The violence. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you, if you want to touch, slip up your right hand, close your eyes, and say, Father, I receive the kingdom. Father, I receive the kingdom. Look, I'm going to keep praying, everybody. Receive. Receive. Come on, y'all. Make sure you want this. Receive it. Receive the kingdom. Receive another touch. Receive it. Oh, glory. Receive it. Say, I receive it. Come on. Say, I receive it. Children, say, I receive it. I receive the kingdom that has come. Yeah, I felt that one. Oh, God. God got something on you, sister. Oh, glory to God. God got something on you, my friend. Receive it. Say, I receive it. Say, I receive the power. I receive it. Come on, y'all receiving it? Yes. Receive the kingdom. Yes. Hallelujah. Touch again. Yes. Touch. I receive it. Yes. Say, Lord, thank you for the kingdom. You, Come on, tell yourself, thank you thank for the kingdom. Yes. Say, God, I thank you for the power, you for the power. in my life. In my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, right now. Say, I receive the kingdom in the name of Yeshua. Yes. Receive a new touch of the kingdom. Yes. Hey, glory yes. to God. He's going to give us strength to endure to the yeah. end. Glory to God. Say, I receive the kingdom. Yeah. Come on, y'all clap your hands. I receive the kingdom. I got the kingdom. Y'all waiting on the kingdom. He's going to gather us. And he's going to build his kingdom. And we're going to help him bring others into it. That's the real Bible. Oh, glory to God. We get ready now to take the Lord's Supper. I'm going to ask Melvin to come read this for me, if you don't mind, before I turn it over to Pastor David, or no, no, Prophet no, no, David. No, 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 no. Melvin, come read this for me, the, the scriptures for the Lord. Except for Brother Andrew, you, Elder, you got somebody else? Okay. Brother Andrew, you want to help? And somebody else? Uh, uh, 
Dominique, you mind helping us? Lord, choosing you today. Amen. I think he knows he can see Don't be surprised if he come back. The next time he come back, he'd be different. All right. Some folk were shocked at that Baptist church. And I got, I got full of the Holy They weren't even preaching the Holy Ghost. I got full of the Holy Ghost in that Baptist church. Turned that church upside down. Kingdom had came without observation. Uh, a broken man came back a whole man the next Sunday. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Read this to prepare for the Lord's Supper while, while they're getting it together. Amen. Amen. You can come on up here. Amen. You got something to testify about? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Powerful word now. Powerful word. Yes, I, I do have a testimony. I, I'm testifying and being thankful that I am alive. Yeah. Both physically and spiritually. Yeah, amen. You know, I, I just, I, I was walking blind. You know, and there was a time where I took it for a joke. I, I am just so thankful. Yeah. I'm so thankful that the Lord so physically yeah. Come on. Because it's not just about me. That's it's right. about not only me, uh, not, it's not about me, it's about Him. That's it's right. about him dumping his word into these children, yeah. Yeah. into the people, my wife, everyone. Yeah. yeah. That's and I am totally thankful for that. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I am reading the first, the Lord's Supper. Uh, this is uh, First Colossians 11, 23. Corinthians. That's Corinthians. Right. I didn't, I just abbreviated it. Uh, first Corinthians 11, 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat this of my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. First Corinthians 11, 25. Mm -hmm. After the same manner, also he took up the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as of as ye drink it in remembrance of me. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 26. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Thank you, Father. Isn't this a precious time? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, let's get our elements and all open them up. Oh, you got the thank you. Get them open so we all partake together. I thank God for the feast of the Lord in Leviticus 26. And I've decided to allow the Holy Ghost to lead us and not just follow people. Hey, Amen. Because a lot of we all Hebrews have been messed up. We don't. We have lost a lot of our heritage, but the Holy Ghost can lead us all back into it. And so I decided to let him lead me. That's why we did the fast last week uh, in honor for the month of uh, Elu, which is September. And uh, it was the Feast of Tabernacles and the, um, and the Atonement. And Sister so, so Trinity did an awesome job of teaching on Atonement. And that was their assignment, too. Amen. And uh, now we don't seal everything with doing communion. Amen. And Jesus said, as often as you eat bread, drink this cup, do it in remembrance of me. He died to atone for our sins. Right. Thank God he didn't just leave us in slavery. He got a plan to take bring us out of oppression, out of slavery, out of all the world hating us, the way they hate us. And he's going to build a kingdom first with us. Good God. Yes. We didn't know that. No. I didn't know that. I've been teaching this life for years. I ain't know that. Now that I know that, thy kingdom come. Yeah. Thy will be done. Hold it up. Sing a few verses of that. Thank you, God. Thank you. Everybody sing. Israel first into the world. Thank you. 
Receive our offering. Amen. But 